All we're asking for is $5.80 of every 100. For Chief Secretary Farley Augustine, this is a simple request to central government for Tobago to manage its affairs in the next fiscal year. Following a three-and-a-half-hour budget presentation on Monday, Augustine said he hopes with an upcoming election, Finance Minister Colum Imbert would be generous. I am predicting that the national budget will be $65.8 billion, and therefore Tobago is asking for 5.8% of 65.8 billion. For fiscal 2024 to 2025, the Tobago House of Assembly is asking for 3.95 billion, with recurrent expenditure at 2.81 billion, 1.002 billion for development program expenditure, 91.9 million for the URP, and 43.8 million for CPEP. The Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection got the highest allocation of $879.8 million, and the Division of Settlement allocated the least. But the budget has been described as a failure by the minority leader. We were held hostage for over three hours to basically hear things we heard from the very first year of this administration's existence and therefore we do not expect anything different. It has been a lot of flowery words with empty promises. PDP leader Watson Duke described it as a misfit. Now it seems very comfortable with the 5.8%. But here is the kick. You are going into new eras that were never spoken of that were never under the auspices of the Tobago House of Assembly like security. Last fiscal year, the TAJ requested $4.54 billion and received $2.585 billion. Elizabeth Gonzalez, CNC3 News.